Hello students, today in this video I am going to teach standard 5 English language nouns, genders. Okay, last video we have discussed about different kinds of nouns. In this video we will discuss about the genders. Now there are basically 4 different types of genders. The first is masculine, feminine, second is feminine, third is common and last is neuter gender. So one by one we will see what these genders are. The first one. A noun that denotes a noun that denotes male person or animal is called masculine gender. Masculine gender. For example, father, brother, uncle, king, lion. So, father, brother, uncle, king, lion, horse, he goat. These are all masculine gender. Now next is feminine gender. A noun that denotes female person or animal is called feminine gender. A noun that denotes female. Let's see very carefully. Female person or animal is called feminine gender is called feminine feminine gender for example daughter mother aunt queen she goat Mayor, bitch, the opposite of dog. Okay, so these are all feminine gender. Now the next one is common gender. What is the common gender? It's either male or female. But by hearing that now we cannot make out whether it's male or female. So a noun that is either male or female male or female is called common gender common gender <clears throat> for example child student Teacher, cousin, these are all common gender. If we say teacher, we can't make out whether teacher is a male or a female. Child, whether she is a girl, boy or a girl, child or a girl, sorry, a boy, child or a girl, child. Okay, so when a student, whether it's a, is a girl or a boy, if I say only student, I cannot make out. But if I say by the name, then you can make out whether the person a boy or girl. So student. Teacher, child, cousin, these are all examples of common gender. Next is neuter gender. Neuter gender. A noun that denotes non lyric thing, having no life. A noun that denotes non-living things are called non-living thing is called neuter gender neuter gender 
For example, table, chair, lamp, book, pen, pencil. These are all examples. <coughs> table, chair, book, pen, sofa, bottle. These are all non-living things so that will come under neutral gender. Now in your book, you have a chart given in the chart different masculine and feminine gender please go through those genders it will help you with spelling okay try to write and learn now there are compound nouns also with in our genders to change from masculine to feminine compound noun means two nouns are together like stepfather they change into stepmother in a masculine feminine gender then stepson that is a masculine gender when we have to change in a feminine then it will become stepdaughter grandfather is a masculine gender and will change into feminine so it will become grandfather will change into grandmother so there are two words together maid servant okay they change into man servant again there are two nouns together man servant okay then uh, Likewise, you will come across with a chart related to this of masculine to feminine. Go through it and by heart the spellings. Write and practice. So this all I have. That's all I have in this video. Thank you for watching.